The first thing I do when starting a photo manipulation is pick a model. In this case, I will be choosing Hannah. It's important to take plenty of photos and pose your model in different ways so you have a variety to choose from. I usually tend to pick the photo that looks the scariest without Photoshop. Once I've picked the photo I'm going to use, I upload it to my computer and bring it into Photoshop. Before I start messing with the photo, I make a duplicate layer of it so I can refer back to it at any time. Then I start using the liquify filter and mess with the length of the neck and make the mouth bigger. I then tend to the levels of the photo and make it either darker or lighter depending on what kind of effect I want. Now I start using brushes. On a separate layer I will stamp some brushes that are designed to look like blood and cracks to enhance the picture and make it more like an evil being with a zombie-like skin. After painting the figure with Photoshop brushes, I tend to adjust the levels and vibrance once again just to make sure everything looks right. At the very end, I will add a vignette to make the photo look older and creepier. And that's how I make an ordinary photo look like a creature from a nightmare. I don't want to tell a story again. Anyone who's ever one already knows what happened. Are your biggest influences? My biggest influences are cartoons and horror movies and my cousins because I love them to death and they're all babies and my friend Hannah because she's ridiculous <laughs> and she makes me laugh all the time and it's a big inspiration. A lot of a lot of the, the stuff that I do is really because when I'm in a good mood I produce the, the best stuff that I do even if it's horror related and usually people think that it's if you're in a bad mood, you're going to produce better art, but not for me. Usually I'm in a better mood when I do it. What is the meaning of life to you? The meaning of life to me is doing what you love. So I shit went down this way. It was the only thing that anybody really could say. She walked in. Why did you get into this profession? Okay, bad. Yeah. Don't I, do that. I don't know. Um. <laughs> bad. Why did you get into this profession? You just asked me that. You didn't answer it properly. So I figured you'd redo it. Why did you get into this profession? Stop asking the same question. 